So I want to show you something that, to the best of my knowledge, Google advertised and released um, in the summer of 2016. This is in Google Maps, so it's completely web-based, so this is good for um, Chromebooks as well as desktops. If I go in here and I search for the Forum of Pompeii, all right, so I go and I click, and this is what we're used to. We use this to show our students. Um, it, it doesn't work in the map view, but if you click on Earth and change it to the Earth view, and again, we know this, students can kind of get a better understanding of the, of the architecture of whatever it is we're trying to show them. I'm going to close this to get out of the way. But now, if you click right here where it says 3D, it pulls in a 3D model of what you're looking at, just like Google Earth did, but you don't have to download new software. It's not going to eat up a bunch of memory and slow you down. It's a one-stop shop all in Google Maps. Um, and then you'll see here it also says that when we're in there, if you hold down the control key while you're clicking or moving the trackpad, it'll help you to tilt and zoom a little bit. All right, so watch this. If I click 3D, it instantly tilts everything, but using that suggestion of using control mouse, I can even tilt it. There we go. And show my students the relationship of Pompeii to Mount Vesuvius. And I can continue to zoom in. and give them a little bit more of a virtual field trip from here with inside of Pompeii so I can show them the forum and explain the structure of a forum. Um, I can even spin it around to give them an understanding of what the ruins look like. I can pick it up and spin it around a little bit. You can see I'm finally getting a little better buffer here. So look at the clarity and depth of here and give students an understanding of the size and scope. Then I'm gonna come over here and show them the amphitheater, oops, the amphitheater and the sports arena. And because again, this is Google Maps, nothing special, you also get the benefit of Street View. So I can come over here and click on Pegman, drop him, and I get all the bubbles that I would normally get so that my students get access to everything all in one place. This is absolutely amazing. It takes all of my favorite components of Google Maps, Google Street View, Google Earth, and puts it in one website to truly create quick, easy, accessible virtual field trips.